In a bold move to redefine its global presence, Sri Lanka has embarked on an ambitious venture, reclaiming two square kilometers from the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean. This visionary initiative aims to elevate Colombo into one of South Asia's premier news centers, setting the stage for a transformation that mirrors the feats of renowned cities like Dubai. While Dubai stands as the epitome of opulence, with its skyline adorned by the iconic Burj Khalifa, the Chinese government has set its sights on surpassing this luxury standard. Sri Lanka has been chosen as the canvas for this grand endeavor, specifically the emerging port city, a stretch of land that currently lies as a mere line in the wasteland destined for greatness. Port City, once a humble outline, is poised to burgeon into a haven of modernity, boasting 65 million cubic meters of meticulously arranged sand. Picture a landscape adorned with sleek glass skyscrapers, a vibrant financial district, world-class hotels, and even a captivating theme park. The vision encompasses a comprehensive urban experience that promises to captivate the imagination. Against the backdrop of a significant exodus of skilled Sri Lankans seeking opportunities abroad, the nation is resolute in its pursuit of reversing this trend. Since the cessation of the civil war in 2009, Sri Lanka has tirelessly strived to entice its skilled workforce back home. The objective is clear foster economic growth that not only sustains but also propels the nation into global recognition. Situated strategically between the bustling hubs of Dubai and Singapore, and in proximity to New Delhi, Kuala Lumpur, and Bangkok, Colombo's geographic advantage is evident. However, the challenge lies in expanding the city without encroaching upon its existing economic and cultural nucleus. Enter the Port City Project, a colossal venture co-funded and co-developed by Chinese and local authorities, marking the largest private sector development in Sri Lankan history. As two square kilometers of land are reclaimed along the Sri Lankan coast, the inner heart of Colombo is set to undergo a spectacular metamorphosis. This transformative endeavor not only promises 80,000 new jobs but also heralds a new era of prosperity and recognition for Colombo. It's not merely a construction project, it's a symphony of progress, culture, and economic vitality, orchestrated by the fusion of Chinese ingenuity and Sri Lankan ambition. In the coming years, Colombo's skyline will narrate a story of resilience, innovation, and a nation's unwavering commitment to reclaiming its rightful place on the world stage. The Port City Project is not just a reclaiming of land, it's a reclaiming of dreams, a promise of a brighter future that beckons all to witness the rise of a new Colombo, a city poised to captivate the world with its splendor. Port City is not merely a reclamation project. It is a dynamic canvas comprised of five distinct realms, the Financial District, Central Park Island, Living Marina, and the International Island, spanning a proposed 269 hectares. Within this expanse, 173 hectares are designated as market lands, symbolizing a convergence of vision, ambition, and relentless dedication. The relentless hum of Chinese dredgers and excavators resonates day and night along Colombo's famous waterfront, evoking a myriad of emotions from the multitude of onlookers. After months of delays and negotiations, these machines are meticulously crafting the foundation for a new financial center destined to emerge from the depths of the Indian Ocean, reaching out to touch the shores of Sri Lanka's bustling trading capital. This novel district, with its distinct economic and commercial laws, is strategically designed to allure global multinational corporations. Situated at the crossroads of key trade routes across the Indian Ocean, its appeal is further heightened. The integration of the financial district with the four other realms of Port City forms an urban symphony, encompassing over 5 million square meters and catering to the needs of 80,000 residents and 250,000 daily commuters. The master plan for this visionary district envisions an eco-friendly green metropolis adorned with open spaces, waterways, and public areas, promoting a lifestyle centered around walking and cycling, minimizing reliance on heavy automobile traffic. Architectural prowess dictates a meticulous arrangement of buildings, with towering structures gracefully diminishing in size as they approach the mesmerizing waterfront. The saga of building an entire city on the oceanic frontier commenced in 2014, a journey fraught with engineering challenges. Quarry materials, extracted within 50 kilometers of the site, and 40,100 precast concrete tetrapods, constructed a massive 20-meter-high, 3.2-kilometer-long breakwater. A formidable barricade tested by the elements, as a cyclone struck in November 2017, revealing the resilience of this colossal undertaking. Completion of the reclamation work in 2019 marked the official declaration of this newfound land as part of Sri Lanka. However, amid the grandiosity of this engineering marvel lies a contentious issue. Water remediation, although an engineering feat, has stirred controversy. 
Environmental groups have sounded alarms about the ecological impact, citing concerns about disrupted marine habitats, damaged coastlines, and the livelihoods of thousands dependent on fishing. In 2015, the Prime Minister halted the project amidst fears of coastal damage, echoing the sentiments of local fishermen like Jude Namo Fernando. The environmental balance, aquatic life, and the livelihoods of approximately 8,000 people were hanging in the balance. The Center for Environmental Justice emphasized the potential depletion of natural resources, estimating the cost of sand at a staggering $3.2 billion, exceeding the initial investment. As the vision for the new financial district in Colombo's port city unfolds, concerns raised by environmental groups cast a shadow over the ambitious project. A staggering estimate of 300,000 daily car trips to the district becomes a focal point, triggering alarms about a potential surge in air pollution already surpassing World Health Organization standards. Despite these environmental apprehensions, it took nearly a year for the project to secure the green light after an exhaustive environmental impact assessment. Adding another layer to the narrative is the scrutiny surrounding the extent of Chinese involvement in Colombo's port city. This development is a crucial component of China's expansive One Belt One Road initiative, a modern silk road aimed at strengthening connections between China, the Middle East, Europe, and Africa. While the port city holds the promise of forging a new route for China to the Indian subcontinent and its burgeoning markets, past deals between the two nations, such as the Hambantota Port and Matala Rajapaksa International Airport, have been met with challenges. The Hambantota port, financed by Chinese loans, faced severe losses, ultimately leading to a 99-year lease to China in 2017. Similarly, the Matala Rajapaksa International Airport, despite its capacity to handle millions of passengers, saw a mere 1,536 visitors in 2019, earning the moniker of the world's emptiest airport. Against this backdrop, the developers of Colombo's port city are keen to avert a similar fate, emphasizing the need for strategic management. With the completion of land reclamation in 2019, swift progress is evident in the new area. The international financial city of Colombo is already under construction and the marina is entering its final stages. Anticipation builds as the first building in the district is slated to open this year. The government and Colombo are gearing up for a joint marketing campaign to showcase the opportunities Port City holds for external investors. While Sri Lanka has weathered disappointments in recent development projects, the controversy surrounding Colombo's port city persists. Despite the hurdles, the project remains steadfast in its pursuit, with the goal of bringing forth significant economic benefits to Sri Lanka upon completion. The intentions behind creating this port city are noble, offering a potential influx of new capital and positioning the country for economic growth. However, the success of this grand endeavor hinges on meticulous management and the ability to navigate the intricate web of challenges that accompany such transformative initiatives. The unfolding chapters of Colombo's Port City promise not just a skyline makeover but also a test of resilience and strategic prowess that will shape the nation's trajectory for years to come.